it's Tai Chi's elastic potential energy. So what is elastic potential energy? Elastic potential energy is the energy of a spring. It compresses, it builds up a force, and then releases that force. So elastic potential energy is a way where in Tai Chi, we use that same type of energy to push. But the difference is, instead of just pushing the spring and it releases, it's the spring pushing the object. And as it pushes the object, it causes compression. That compression builds, and then the object is sent flying. So for beginning Tai Chi students, it's often very difficult to get them to relax their upper body. We want to use the strength from our hips, our legs, transmitted through our arms, but we don't want to use upper body strength. So we're going to do the opposite of pushing forward. We're going to push by letting our hands come in. So how, how does that work? We start out here, we let our body come in, and our hands come back. And as our hands come in, the object or the person is moving. Okay? So, right now, this is a person or an object, it's not really an opponent. We start from an extended position, almost locked, but not quite. So, I put contact. I have sensitivity, I have contact. I feel compression against my arms. So instead of going like this and pushing him, what I'm going to do is bring my body towards him and let my arms come in. <coughs> Again. I come back, I feel resistance. I walk towards him. You're going to send the energy out hard and fast. And then you're going to do the pushing without pushing, and then you're going to release the energy. <coughs> Slow motion, this is what happens. You do the strike. I stay connected. I relax my arms. I come in. As I come in, relax, and then send it out. So it's... Okay. Mm. Okay. 